Hello and welcome to this short training video on QuizCom forums. In this video, we will learn how to create a static rule that hides or disables a field. We already know how to get to the fields level permission settings page, so let's go into the help desk list and navigate to the field level permissions page. Our goal for this video is to create a static rule that hides the issue status field for the persons in the sales SharePoint group. So first, what we have to do is select the field, which in our case is issue status. And afterwards, we select if we want to hide it or disable it. In my case, I just want to hide it. In the users and group section, we could select to only apply this rule only to the people in the sales SharePoint group. However, I want to show you how to create the rule. So I will leave the users and group section empty. So at the moment, it applies to everyone. We then decide what forms to apply it to. Since I want the salesperson to be able to view the issue status, but not edit it or set it during a new item creation, I will select the edit a new form, but deselect the view item form. It's important to know that when we disable a field, we can only disable it in the edit form and not in the others. However, we can set a field as read only by using dynamic default values. We will not cover dynamic default values in this video. However, you can learn more about dynamic default values in the respective videos. Back to our role. So at the moment, we selected the issue status field, decided to hide it and chose to hide it only in the new and edit forms. However, allow users to still view it. Now we need to create our role. When do we want to hide this field? This is where we enter our logic. In the conditions section, the first field I have is the column. The column can either be the current user or one of the current columns in my list. In my case, I want to know if the current user is in a SharePoint group. The current user is always the current user opening the form. So I'll select the current user and then I want to know the operator. In my case, I want to know if the user is in a certain SharePoint group. So I'll select the first option. And finally, I have to enter the value. What do I compare the current user against? To find the value, I will click on the small directory icon, select SharePoint groups, and then find my SharePoint group. I know it includes sales, so I will search for sales. I will select it, and then I will click the add button to add it to my selection and finally click OK. After I create my condition, I need to click the add button at the right of the condition. So I make sure that I add it to the conditions of this rule. After the condition is added, I need to click the add field level permission rule. So it gets added to this list. And finally, I scroll down to the bottom of the settings page and I click on OK. Now that we applied our rule, let's see if it works. I will first navigate to the help desk list using the test admin user. That is a full admin and is not part of the sales group. So let me click on new item. And as you see, I still see the issue status field. Now let's try with another user. I will go into Chrome where I'm logged in as a person inside of the sales group called sales one. I will go to the help desk list and then I will click on a new item. And as you see, the issue status is missing because of the rule we created in QuizCom to hide that field from persons in the sales group. This user does not see the issue status field when creating a new item. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a static rule on QuizCom forums.